Hey guys, how are you? How have you been? I know it's been such a long time since I felt like I've talked to you. I feel like I've been a bit absent the past couple of weeks. I have recently just got back from the US. We went for two and a half weeks with Dean and we went with a bunch of his friends. There was like five, six other guys. Um, so yeah, I got back from that and... I just want to get back into it now. So I do apologize for my absence and I hope you guys are doing really, really well. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Not that I, I don't know. I just wanted to have a chat with you guys basically. <laughs> so what's been going on? So we went to the US, we went to LA, San Jose, Vegas, New Orleans. The only place that we hadn't been before was New Orleans and it was really cool. Like we stayed in the French Quarter and yeah, it was really nice. And the other places like I probably wish we went to other places that we hadn't been before like New York Chicago Miami um, instead of going to the same places but some of the guys hadn't been to LA and Vegas before if anything I could change that but I did quite a bit of shopping as you can imagine it was a bit of a mixture of weather some days were really really hot and then some days were kind of like average like mid 20s kind of thing but it was a nice getaway considering we haven't had much of a spring here in Australia like it's been pretty dismal but my favorite part of the trip was we went to this place called the Pearl Factory and they're actually we saw them in Hawaii well I saw them but we didn't actually go to it and what you do is for $14.95 you can pick an oyster like they have like a like a container of fresh oysters sitting there and you pick them and then you get that pearl that's in it and you don't know what kind of pearl you're going to get like whether like it's a really rare one or just an average one or two or three like multiples of pearls inside them so that was really exciting and I we made a ring out of the first pearl that we picked and it was really cool because he said that the man had to pick it for the lady and um, yeah like all these traditions all these Hawaiian traditions about pearls and everything it was so nice and then he let us have another pearl so I made a ring for my mom I know she's been wanting a pearl ring and as soon as I saw the pearl I was just like oh my god it's perfect like it's meant to be I'm just one of those people where I'm just like whatever happens is just how it's meant to be and when I when I saw that pearl like I just like literally like <gasps> It was just like, that was meant for my mom. Anyway, like that was, I know I'm rambling, but that was like my favorite part of the trip. And it was nice spending that time with Dean because like we were traveling in quite a big group. There were seven of us and like I was the only girl there. So I was a little bit left out a lot of the time. And let me tell you, traveling with six other guys is not easy at all like they are worse than girls <laughs> worse at making decisions worse at getting ready <laughs> but yeah expect a lot of hauls coming your way of makeup and clothing and yeah I'm excited to share it all with you I haven't suffered too much jet lag I've been wanting to go to bed at like seven o'clock but last night I stayed up until maybe nine but I keep waking up at 3 30 in the morning and I'm like wide awake so hopefully I can kick that habit as soon as we got back we went to the supermarket because we just ate crap over there like honestly pizza burgers like all this bad stuff chicken and oh like it was just so bad so we knew we needed to just get back on the bandwagon when we got home we went to the supermarket and um We've been just cooking our own food and everything like that. And I just actually made like a huge like pot roast thingy, not roast, slow cooker meal, but you know what I mean? Like heaps of veggies and a bit of beef and um, made up our own sauce and, and made that for my lunches during the week. So I'm um, all prepared and I went to the gym Saturday and Sunday. So I'm really keen to get back into it um, and just make a part of my routine to go to the gym. That's my hardest part. Like just... I always say, oh, I've got to get home and edit or, you know, I'm tired. But I know when I do go to the gym, I have more energy. So I've just got to, it's just something that I've got to stick at. And yeah, it's a little bit hard. Um, I am quite, I'm like really time poor. Um, and which I have asked to go part time at work. I've asked to do two days a week. So hopefully that kind of goes through soon. And then I have more time to focus on the videos and everything else. And I'm really excited for that. Like, I'm just excited to take that next step into being a YouTuber. By the way, I have to show you guys something. Oh my God, look what I got in the mail. Oh my God, I'm like, you can't even see it because of the, because of the glare. There you go. <laughs> 
Um, I got my plaque for 100,000 subscribers. Yay! So I know I, like, I didn't really do a video or anything touching on the fact that I hit 100,000 subscribers, but like it was just goals for me. Like I just, once I hit it, I'm just like, oh, now I can relax kind of thing. Um, I'd worked, obviously worked really, really hard to get to that point. And this year, like, honestly, it's been a real struggle for me. I've struggled with not feeling like myself. I've struggled with not being happy. I guess like winter blues, I don't know. But I know like a lot of people have felt the same struggle this year and it hasn't been ideal. And I have definitely backed away from the vlogs and the videos and the interaction, I guess. And I don't know, you just go through a stage where you're just not feeling it and it's hard to come back from that. I think like this, this end of the year is like coming into the next year and I'm really excited for what is to come next year. Our house has started to be built. Um, so that's really great. It should be finished by April. Still a while away, but it is at least started. Yeah, and it's coming up to the warmer weather as well. So, I don't know, I feel like I'm on track for the end of the year, but like I didn't accomplish as much as I wanted to. I haven't been as consistent as I have in the past with my videos and I'm, I'm I actually really disappointed in myself for that. But you can only do, I'm only human, I can only do what I can do. Um, and yeah, it's been a rough year for a lot of people and um, like just, you know, emotionally and everything like, I don't know, some people have had really amazing years and I hope you guys have had an amazing year. But um, I know a few of my other friends who have who do YouTube have struggled a bit this year. But like throughout my struggles, like Dean has been there just like holding me up, being my rock and like he's been really amazing. So I am thankful for that because like I know I kind of pull away from from everyone and everything when times get a bit tough um so I'm very lucky to have have my my Dini by my side some other things that I want to touch on IMAT I at this stage I don't have any plans to go to IMAT it is on my birthday weekend which the, is the 22nd my birthday is on the 22nd of November but I think I think one of Dean's friends is having his 30th on that weekend. So I don't think I'll do anything for my birthday this year. I'm turning 29. <laughs> don't have any plans to do anything special. Coco's doing really well. We actually had our friend Nicole come and house sit when we were away. Um, if we don't have someone here, like staying here, she gets really anxious and she gets really quite upset. So we get our friend to come and house sit, which is really lovely. And we're very grateful to her. Um, um, I don't think that she would cope very well in Kateri, so um, we're lucky that we um, we have a friend that can come and stay here. I think that's about all for now. I just wanted to do like a little chatty video. Oh my god, The Bachelor and Bachelorette. I just need to quickly touch on this because you guys can click off if you don't watch it. But holy crap, like they need to get back back to its roots. Like don't tell us that someone else is looking at winning it and then they're not and just break our hearts. Like Maddie J, oh my God. I'm getting like shivers thinking about it. Thinking about that dance where, uh, thinking about the day where they were doing the dancing and I'm like, oh my God. But we all should have seen that it was Lee, especially with the catching of the dancing moves. Like we should have known that it was Lee, but we wanted it to be Maddie J. And even with, with The Bachelor, like, we all thought it was going to be Nikki. I was talking to my friends on chat and one of them was like, no, nah, no, nah, it's not Nikki. It's Alex. It's Alex. And I'm like, no, it can't be. And then like, yeah, it was, it was Alex, not Nikki. So, you know, I feel like Channel 10 just betrayed us. You know what I mean? Like, don't do that to us. Like it drove, drove us wild. And I know some people were just like, nah, I'm not watching it because of what happened in The Bachelor. Like it really upset me. <laughs> I was overseas when the finale, the, I think the last two or three episodes of The Bachelorette were on. And I was just waiting for them to come up on YouTube before I went on social media because I couldn't go on social media because it would just be everywhere whoever won it 
Um, but yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, so I think that's all. I really hope you guys are doing well and um, I don't know. I miss you guys. I miss having that chat with you. Um, I usually do this on the vlog channel. I'm so behind in the vlogs. I didn't get a chance to edit while we we're away. So really sorry about that. I'll try and get them up as soon as I can, but it's Sunday and I'm back to work tomorrow. Monday to Friday, so yeah, and I don't want to keep going to the gym as well. Um, so yeah, I really hope you're doing well. Um, and I guess I'll chat to you soon. I have a couple of videos coming this week, so stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye.